St. Thomas English Medium Higher Secondary School Class 3rd Subject Computer by Richa Garg Hello students I welcome you all to this classroom Today in this chapter chapter number 1 introduction to computers we will study what is a computer what is a computer made of starting and shutting down of a computer uses of computer children what is computer a computer is a man made thing or we can say computer is a machine right a computer is a made up of different parts that helps you to enter data that is we call it as a input process it that is we call it as a cpu store it means memory and the output means the result okay children let us understand the meaning of input process and output with a daily life example of preparing a tea for example children you can say we have taken an electric kettle which is filled with water now what we will do the kettle is plugged into the electric socket the on button switch button is is on now the this is what we call it as a it's a input okay now what the what we will do process the bags are placed in the tea pot the water in the kettle boils the boiled water is poured into the tea pot and the tea brews this whole process is a what is the whatever is happening is a process okay now the next the brew tea is poured into the tea cup the milk is added the tea is consumed this process we call it as a output process let's take one more example of preparing mango shake children now we take a mango pulp sugar and milk that things we take it as a input we are collecting things correct mango pulp sugar and milk we are collecting things okay now what we will do we will take a mixer grinder jar in that we will churn all these three ingredients that is a pulp mango pulp sugar and milk we will churn them and mix them after that that all the what we will do churning by mixer that all process that is all the process and afterwards children mango shake is ready that mango shake which is ready that is our output children okay so did you understand what is input process and output okay children do you know what is computer made of a computer is made of hardware and software a hardware refers to the part of the computer that you can touch or feel for example we'll take cpu monitor keyboard mouse printer scanner microphones and some of the some of the other examples of the hardware now let's talk about software children do you know what is software software means it is a set of programs that perform some task in a computer when you start your computer the software also starts with it some of the popular software is ms word ms office winsup coral draw and adobe photoshop these are the some of the examples of the software now children input device processing unit storage device and output device are also the some of the examples of the computer hardware okay children did you understand this what is entering data data refers to the to a collection of facts like when you children enter name address and telephone number into the computer by typing it with using a keyboard that all the thing is called data the data that you entered is called the input okay children did you understand what is entering data children do you know what is an input device input device means the data or instructions are entered into the computer with the help of input device 
okay for the exam let's take a common example of input device you can see the keyboard and mouse these are the these two are the common examples of input device children do you know what is in processing data processing the data means performing calculation or comparing data is called a processing a data okay children children now let's study about cpu a cpu is we call it as a cpu box also okay of the computer a cpu is called the box of the computer that contains the cpu okay a cpu stands for central processing unit a cpu controls all the functions of the computer a cpu is also we call it as the brain of the computer the way a human body brain works in the same way children cpu also works like a brain of the computer a cpu consists of three parts alu that is the arithmetic and logic unit cu control unit and the third is the register let's study about alu first children alu means arithmetic and logical unit or you can say arithmetic and logic unit now what is the work of alu uh, alu works does all the cal arithmetic calculation and logical comparisons the logical comparisons includes greater than sign less than sign greater than or equal to sign less than or equal to sign equal to and not equal to sign this all the arithmetic and logic unit works that is the alu works now let's study about c cu cu means control unit work of cu is that is control unit is to control the unit the movement of information sharing between the register the alu and the other parts of the computer that is the that that is the work of the control unit children suppose i let me give you one example imagine a scene at a crossroad without any traffic police or signal you can if there are no traffic signal or police then everyone would be moving at the same time and soon this would result in the traffic jam the traffic police or signal control the movement of vehicles and maintain orders this is the work of the control unit in the same way in computer control unit work is same it controls the con it controls the unit the movement of information between the registers the alu and the other part of the computer that is the work of a alu now let's study about registers what is the work of a register children register is a small memory unit in the cpu where all the data to be processed and is stored it helps the alu to easily access data for calculations and help the cu to pass the data on to other parts of the computer rapidly register is also used to get back to retrieve the information stored in the computer memory this is the work of a register children okay what is storing data storing a data means a large amount of data that can be stored is called stored in a computer is called storing data the data entered into into the computer is stored in the hard disk when given the instruction to save it in addition to the hard disk cd roms cd roms that is dvd roms and pen drives are used to store information permanently okay children what is output device output device means the result given by the computer after processing the data is called the output device the output device shows 
or place the result after processing the input monitor printer and speakers are some of the examples of output device now children let's talk about monitor a computer screen is called a monitor children you can see a monitor looks like a tv screen okay a monitor is is also called vdu that is visual display unit it displays the result of the task performed by the computers you can also watch movies and cartoons films on a on a monitor the output display on a monitor is called a soft copy now children let's talk about a printer the output that is printed on the paper using a printer is called a hard copy understand children what is output device and what is monitor and printer now children let's study how to start and shut down a computer first we will study how to start a computer to start a computer there are four steps to start a computer the first step is switch on the power supply button second step is switch on the ups button the third step is switch on the power button on the cpu cabinet and the fourth step is switch on the monitor button how to shut down a computer to shut down a computer children there are five steps to shut down a computer so the first step is children click on the start button the second step is children you have to click on a after that when you click on the start button you can see the menu box is there on the right side you can you have to press on click on the shutdown button now the third step is children the message logging off and shutting down will appear this message will come in a few second it will turn off the cpu now switch off the power button of the monitor children now the fourth step is children switch off the ups button and fifth step is switch off the power supply button this is how children we can shut down a computer now children let's study the uses of computer what are the uses of computer we will study computers are now used to make drawing solve sums play games listen to music they are also used to perform various tasks in school offices railway stations airports hospitals and banks okay children did you understand what are the uses of a computer page number 17 exercise question 1 fill in the blanks with the correct words A dash refers to a set of program that performs some task in a computer. So what will come, children? Software. Software refer to a set of programs that performs some task in a computer. B a collection of fact is called data. C the monitor is also known as V D U that is visual display unit. D to switch off the computer click the dash button start button E1 a dash is a list of option displayed on the screen from which one or more options can be selected that is a menu okay children in third one there is a right one word for the following 
A1, brain of the computer is our CPU. Part B1, part of the computer that stores data for processing is a CPU. C1, result given by a computer after processing is a output devices. D1, an output device that prints output on a paper is called a printer. E1, output that is printed on a paper is called a hard copy. Now, Let's move to question number fifth. Choose the correct options. A. What refers to the parts of a computer that you can feel or touch? 1. Software. 2. Hardware. 3. Hard copy. 4. None of these. So answer is hardware. Hardware refers to the part of the computer that you can feel or touch. Now let's move to B1. The part of the computer that stores data is called registers. Registers. Registers only store the data. Now C1. Which of the followings are important mouse actions? 1. Click. 2. Double click. 3. Right click. Yeah, fourth, all of these. All of these. Click, double click and write are the following important mouse actions. D1. Which of the following is not a logical comparison? 1. 42 greater than 3. 36 is equal to 36. 3rd. 23 plus 3. 4th. 34 is greater than equal to 33. So it's 23 plus 3. E1, the full form of VDU is 1. Visual dis Digital Unit 2. Visual Display Unit 3. Visual Virtual Display Unit 4. Virtual Digital Unit It's 2. Visual Display Unit The full form of VDU is Visual Display Unit 